This is for you, Marty Levinson. Ta-da. Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. For the identity of the real Marty Levinson, please stay tuned to the Northtown News Magazine. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Hey there, I am really Marty Levinson. Don't let anybody fool you. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest camera. Marty, Avi Meyer's Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at ntnm.org where over a thousand different video interviews are available. Hundreds of thousands of shows watched. Um, they're all on YouTube from the last eight and a half years. We've been going longer than that, but YouTube hasn't been around as long as we have. Um, communitypolicingcaps24.org. Let's get down to business. Um, one of the things I really love about Facebook is I had two people stiff me today. So um, <laughs> I didn't even tell you who you're replacing. And anyway, I put a notice on Facebook and bam, bam, you know, I, within minutes, I got two terrific responses. And Miriam Baver, um, you know, contacted me and, and her husband, Piri, used to be my photographer, as a matter of fact, once upon a time and um, got me the director of, ge of Generations, uh, somebody who's been friends with my youngest brother forever, and that's Rabbi Yosef Cohen. How you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> nice to see Thank you. Thank God. Good to see you, Thanks too. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure, and this is, you know, it's really nice to get a quality guest on uh, <laughs> no notice, literally. And if I tell you afterwards who you're placed, you'll laugh your head off. <laughs> <laughs> the, sure. um, so tell us about Generations. What is Generations? Generations is a organization that started, um, uh, the official organization started around four years ago, and, but it's been really around for uh, over 20, just, uh, just off the records and off the, uh, without the official title and everything. And um, basically what we do is um, we help transition uh, kids, Jewish kids, uh, boys, girls, K through 12, um, into the um, day school system. So um, let's say a, a child, um, gets turned on by a Shabbaton, NCSY, they just, uh, a seed project, something, and they want to transfer to day school. So our day school system already is hard to navigate without, uh, already in the system. So let's say you're out of the system, you want to get in. So we help um, transition a child, um, I said boy or girl, into a school. We, whether it's um, tuition, um, transportation, social, emotional, tutoring, um, just getting acclimated to the, to the system. You know, coming from public school and to go into our day school system, needs a lot of hand-holding and uh, direction, and we make it happen. We work with um, um, all the Jewish day schools, um, uh, Orthodox Jewish day schools, and... Um, how many are there right now, just out of curiosity? How many schools or how many... Uh, how many day we, schools? There is, uh, there's uh, close to 10 or I mean, 10, 11 wow. uh, that we deal with. I was just curious. Um, grammar school, high school, um, you know, um, I mean, just think about Hill Torah, Ari Crown, Beis Yaakov, Weitzner Cheder, Lubavitch, um, then uh, high schools, Hannah Sachs, Beis Yaakov, Skok Yeshiva, Tells, um, Ida Crown. I mean, there's, right, there's a list right there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and we deal with all of them. You know, we try and find a nice fit. And um, so, uh, you know, someone will call me up and, you know, there's a boy who's interested or girl's interested. And, um, and we make the transition happen. We make it as smooth and we hold the hand for a good couple of years till they're really acclimated into the system. And then we're able to uh, usually let go and they're, they're, they're in the system now. No, that's very cool, you know, because I, I, I mean, I'm an early product of the day school system, and the fact of the matter is that they were, on the south side especially, where I went to Akiba, which is no relation to the present Akiba, um, the, there were people who were there, I, I didn't realize when I was going there that more than half my class was not Sabbath observant. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, I started to find out when people would tell me what was on, you know, uh, Flash Gordon on Saturday morning <laughs> when I could only watch the Sunday shows. Right. <laughs> So, but, but it is a, you know, it is a, it's a diff, very different world in a transition. 
Right. And not, nowadays, it's like the majority of the people well, in almost all the institutions do come from religious families. Right. So that's actually a little bit of a of a thing of a thing. like when when we were younger. Um, I think you're a little bit older than me, but um, yeah, I am <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, you know, our day schools were, were begging to take a public school kid. You know, they would open the doors, um, you know, both arms to accept a, a, a child from the, the public schools. And all the after school Talmud Torahs I personally worked in and, um, and went to as a child. Um, in fact, your brother taught me yeah. <laughs> um, many years ago. Um, you know, those Talmud Torahs led into our day school system. And today, they're really, they're not jumping to take a public school kid. And um, I don't want to say this, um, in the beginning there was a little bit of opposition, I'll be honest with you, because um, you know, how's it going to fit in and maybe the religious observance isn't as strong as some of the other kids and how we get them up to par their, their reading skills and understanding. Our day schools are, are packed. They're overflowing with kids. They're not jumping to take a public school kid, uh, child. So um, that's where we step in and try and, um, you know, make it as, as, you know, we'll take a lot of the responsibility, the tutoring, the, uh, the, some of the tuition help or transportation, and we'll make that... Um, you know, from the, the, the actors with Tama Torah, where you're saying where so many of our day schools were, were started on public school kids, today it's a different ballgame. And it's really just the, you know, the few kids a year that we're putting in, into them um, really make a difference. But um, that's, that's the goal. No, and it's terrific because it does build a strong community. And the fact is whether, um, you know, people really take a look at real figures. And there was, in Memphis, there was an extensive survey um, put out nationally. Um, and I forget the name of the organization, but the Federation's... Um, he had a big survey of nationwide Jewish people. They found that there was only growth within the Orthodox sector sure. in, in terms of children and the numbers of children being born in the growth of those schools. But, but what's happening at the other end, too, is that people in, and I don't even like the word Orthodox, I like the word religious myself, but, but people in, in, in the less religious environments that identify themselves as Jewish um, generally speaking, go off the map. What used to be conservative Judaism really doesn't exist anymore. Right. Right. You know, what used to be traditional is there's a whisper of it there. Right. It's dying out. Orthodox is for sure, or religious as you'd call it, is definitely it's 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 the buzzword. It's yeah, both topic. words it's work. I mean, a, right. Yeah. It's um you know the uh, the you know kosher and and religious is uh, those are the 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 2015 buzzwords of of the. Of the community. So. Yeah, the, the fact is that, that one of the things too is that, that children understand, children know when you're being honest and truthful and straightforward. And the fact is that, that some of the other forms of Judaism are watered down and it's compromised for, for whatever reason. And when children see hypocrisy and contradiction, they question it and they run away from it, which is one of the reasons you've got. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't certain people from those systems that, that did themselves become religious or stuck around a long, you know, for a long time in what they were in. But, um, you know, those movements are, are, are and it, those movements don't even exist in other countries. You know, in most other countries, um, you're either religious or you're not. <laughs> I like to use the term when I'm talking to a, a potential parent and they're, they're, you know, there's always a question, you know, what the, so the word is authentic Judaism. You know, authentic yeah. is a great word. <laughs> yeah, it is authentic. a good word. You know, so it's, uh, you know, they get the, the real deal, as we say, the real, um, get the best of both worlds. Uh, you know, a child coming from public school, obviously the public schools, especially in the suburbs, are, you know, very high class. I'm not saying anything against the Chicago public schools, but, you know, the, the suburban schools. are better schools. Suburban schools are, are <laughs> definitely, you know, better funded and better, uh, higher um, level education. So we try and sell the best of both worlds and get a, a, a private Jewish education along with the um, a good secular um, studies can usually sell a, a, a parent, you know, on the uh, on the idea that their kid can get the best of both worlds, of both Hebrew and an English education. They go on to, you know, you know some go on to yeshivas and Beis Yaakov, some goes on to colleges and universities. But the goal is that a, a child, um, there's over 300,000 Jews in Chicago, and um, you know, the, just the percentages are so little. There's 100,000 kids out there that are in public school, and um, if we can, uh, you know, get them a Jewish education, that's what's going to keep the Jewish people around is the education and get them a good solid Jewish education, good secular education, and um, we're here to help uh, facilitate that and offer that to, to the kids in the in the public school system. No, it does help, and it should be emphasized that uh, the secular education is really pretty outstanding, and uh, especially compared to other schools. I mean, listen, I went to religious schools basically my whole life, and when we had to take the achievement tests, I mean, we were we were like at very high marks. Right. But the, the goal is to, is to, is to that's a selling point to, to many of the secular parents out there, is they can get the best of both worlds. They get a solid Jewish education plus the solid 
um, uh, secular studies, um, you know, with intermarriage rates uh, going skyrocketing, everything. So this is a really way to uh, to have a good solid Jewish education. You know, kids you know, <laughs> learning Torah for you know 10, 15 years. It's very hard to uh, you know, they, and it happens. But uh, the intermarriage and everything, the, the assimilation doesn't happen to, as much as kids coming from obviously our day school system. No question about it. Well, Mickey's hands are about there. So, um, would you like to give people your contact information? Sure. Um, the best way is actually to get us at uh, on, on, uh, call me up directly, uh, Yosef Cohen. The, the cell phone number is seven seven three nine eight one eight five one five, and we will make uh, an easy transition for any child who wants to go to to a number of school to any Jewish school. We'll make it happen. Rabbi Yosef Cohen, Director of Generations. Even though I'm sure we've run into each other many, many times, times, many times, this is our first formal conversation. Pleasure. Other than to say thank you for stuff, probably <laughs> with my brother. Thank okay. you so much for being here.